Can I yeah. eat a lot of cheese now? You want to eat a lot of cheese again? No! I've been cooking since I was little. My mom and dad loved to cook, obviously. My grandma loved to cook, so I used to go over to her house on the weekends in Sonoma, and we cooked breakfast. Um, and that got me into the whole idea of how things are made, where they come from. But we love to cook with the kids, and especially with Araya and Aiden as they grow older, they really enjoy cooking, and it gives them an idea of how food is made, but also maybe it gives them a little bit of encouragement to try. So I started making mac and cheese about a year ago, and Araya didn't like it, now she loves it. Aiden has yet to try it, but hopefully one day he will. Why don't you like it? Too cheesy. It's too cheesy. Okay, so Aiden thinks it's too cheesy. Rai Rai, is it too cheesy for you? Nope. Nope. At your wedding, I'm going to tell everybody that you do not like mac and cheese. Everyone is going to laugh, just for the record. That oh, is on Daddy. camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. You're being rude to me. So we're back. <laughs> so I've got cheddar, I've got Colby Jack, I've got mozzarella, and the Catija, which is a Mexican cheese, it just has a nice, different kind of flavor to it. And then I pre boiled yeah. some macaroni noodles. I be careful, guys. I didn't cook them all the way. I cooked them about half to three quarter with the idea that they're gonna cook the rest of the way in the oven. Can you do that with for me? Okay. It's called grease in a pan. Can you grease the pan for me? So I grease the pan with butter. Grease it, grease, 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 grease. That gives it also some nice moisture around the edges. It gives it some crispiness as well. When this pan gets hot and it goes into the oven, the whole pan's gonna get hot. The, the, the butter, what the butter does in the bottom and the sides is it gives it that nice crispy effect that uh, makes that mac and cheese just come out perfect. I like using salted butter just because I don't add salt to the mix. I mean, already there's salt in the cheese already and the other, the other ingredients, and I add garlic salt to it. So I think the salted butter is just enough salt to give it that, uh, that flavor that you want to go along with the cheese. I don't like to add extra salt to it. Tamara does, for the record, but I don't. Nice work, Rai Rai. You are a very good butterer. No, me. You are too. You're both fantastic. Okay, now we get to make it. It's almost like building your own little cake or yeah. lasagna, because we're gonna layer this bad boy. Cooking with kids is fun. It also requires patience. But if you have or a alcohol. Second, that's not gonna be fun. Or both. What? Dad, can we do that? Do what? Alcohol or patience? Which cheese do we want to put in first? I want to put in that cheese. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I try to use two cheeses. Something that gives it the most flavor. So in this case, I really I use a lot of the sharp cheddar because you're gonna get that every bite now when you when you when you spoon it out. So when I fill up the macaroni in the pan, I fill it up a third, a third, and a third basically. So I do a third layer of macaroni with a layer of cheese uh, or cheeses, then another third, second of the third layers of macaroni, more cheese, and then the final layer of macaroni. So basically three layers of macaroni Wait, yeah, with cheese is, in between. Yeah, this one is really warm. Gonna... That's a long one, break in half. Good job, keep putting it in there, guys. The macaroni's already warm. Obviously, it's still hot from being boiled, so it's a little sticky, which is good, because it's gonna stick to that cheese, and it's gonna melt. a little bit. Are we gonna put more cheese in it? Oh, do you want more cheese? Yeah. More cheese! And you want, oh my gosh. You want more cheese? More cheese. If you make mac and cheese, what do you guys add in your mac and cheese at home? Big, big handful. See the cotija? I usually put the cotija cheese in the middle layer. Well, that way it melts downwards. Because on top, it'll generally, it'll melt downwards also, but the best place to put it, I believe, for me when I use it, is right smack dab in the middle. Does a good job of really getting that creaminess throughout. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, top layer of macaroni. Here it comes. You're gonna end up being one big chunk of cheese. You realize it, don't you? One, two, three, smash, 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 okay, smash, 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 here. I'll try, try one, try one. Same. You love it? Okay, now there's two things we have to do. I want to keep eating. What? What? Somebody steals the show every time we cook. Do you realize who that might be? This is the garlic salt. I like to add garlic salt. Yep, you can too, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Now, Aiden, spread that cheese. Rabbi, right, right. spread this cheese all over. All over, spread it really good, really good. So this is the very top layer of cheese. We did three layers of noodles and now three layers of cheese. Make sure you cover all the noodles, guys. Now comes the part that's the most healthy. What? Yeah, half and half. So the half and half gives it that last little bit of creaminess and flavor so it doesn't dry out too much. That's Daddy, can I have a drink now? Of what? 
apple juice. All that cheese make you thirsty? So now we've got three layers of noodles, three layers of cheese, we've added some garlic salt, we've also added some half and half. It's time to put it in the oven. In the oven? Are you ready? You guys ready, Aiden? It's going yes. Okay, it's going in. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? It's not done yet. It has to stay in the oven for about 25 minutes on 350, roughly. Look at that. Look at that. That is very hot. That's cooked perfect. It's nice and crispy around the edges, but not too much. A good mix of crispy and soft, which is what you want. You don't want it too dry. And you take, you can see where the cotija has just cut right into it. Look at that. That looks amazing. Here. I'm tired. Try it. Is that good? You like that? I am. This smells amazing and it tastes great too. Tamara's gonna love it. So if you wanna see more of Dad Chopped episodes and stuff of me cooking with the kids, uh, let us know down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to... Don't forget to help you guys. Wait, head fight, ready? Head fight.